your morning starts now. It's the Q102 Jeff and Jen podcast brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy. The CDC announced recently that it has shortened the recommended time that people quarantine after testing positive for the coronavirus from 10 days to five days. They added that today is basically over, so it's really four days. Plus, Sundays don't count, so three days. You know what? Just take the weekend. Just take the weekend. You'll be fine. Now, speaking of COVID, the CDC recently issued a warning to avoid cruise ships regardless of vaccination status. I'm sorry, that was news from 2018. <laughs> Papa John's recently added a New York-style pizza to its menu that features eight large slices that customers can fold to eat. But hey, unless you can drunkenly pay for it with a Ziploc bag full of nickels and then fall asleep eating it on the subway, it's not New York-style. South Korea said that an unidentified person crossed the border into North Korea. Really? It's like running out of Disneyland and into North Korea. Yeah. Ah, uh, 639. Jeff and Jen, Cincinnati's Q102. Otherwise, mostly sunny today. We will see a high around 43. Right now, 23 at Q102. All right. So way back when Keanu Reeves did the very first Matrix movie. So this was a while ago. What was that, 1991? Yeah. I saw that. So... He donated 70% of his earnings from that movie to research for leukemia, the blood cancer. So I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. Okay. Nice. So Keanu made around $45 million for that movie. So 70% is around $31.5 million wow. he donated. Wow. Isn't that amazing? amazing. Yeah. His younger sister, Kim, had been battling leukemia for eight years at the time. She had been diagnosed in 1991 and went into remission in 2001. He actually created a charity to aid adults and children with cancer. He did not attach his name to it, though. So very, he, every story about Keanu Reeves that I see just makes him even cooler to me. I just love him even more. Hmm. So in related Keanu news, he's going to be in a new true crime limited series for Hulu. It's called The Devil in the White City. And Leonardo DiCaprio and Martin Scorsese are producing it. So it's based on the historical nonfiction book of the same name. So. I bet that'll be good. Have you guys watched that new uh, Jennifer Lawrence, Leonardo DiCaprio movie, Don't Look Up? I have uh-huh. not, but I have been told I must see it. It's a, it's a, I started to watch it yesterday because we were off, and then when I found out it was like a sci-fi-ish movie, I decided to wait for Scott. Mm-hmm. But I've heard that people are like either they loved it or they thought it was horrible. Mm. Like there's no mixed review. It was just very... One or the uh, other. Yeah. Ne- Netflix? It is on Netflix, yeah. And it's about, evidently, it's about two astronomers that are on some kind of media tour, and they have to warn everyone that uh, an asteroid is coming or something. Asteroid is coming to destroy. Destroy the planet, yeah. and nobody's listening to them. No one's listening they're, to they're, them. <laughs> nobody's paying. I think. I think they're trying to send us a message. <laughs> they're saying it's a, a metaphor for climate change. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, the weekend announced yesterday that he's coming out with his new album, Dawn FM, on Friday. It features guests like Tyler the Creator, Lil Wayne, and Jim Carrey. How about that? Uh, This is not actually a total surprise considering last August the weekend told us about his friendship with Jim over their mutual love of telescopes. But still, we uh, we have to see to what degree Jim is featured in a preview clip. uh, I can't say with 100 percent certainty, but it does sound like he's acting as kind of a radio DJ. But there's no word if that's his only role. You are now listening to 103.5 Don FM. You've been in the dark for way too long. It's time to walk into the light and accept your fate with open arms. Uh, Jim says, I quote, I listened to Don FM with my good friend Abel uh, the weekend last night. Uh, it was deep and elegant and it danced me around the room. I'm thrilled to play a part in his symphony. To which the weekend responded, thank you for being a part of this. It's kismet. Full circle. How fun. Yeah. That's cool. So it's no secret that what happens on reality shows is completely sometimes divorced from what reality actually is. 
So we got a bunch of people on Reddit share the nightmares they experienced when they were on various home makeover shows. Oh, I love home makeover mm-hmm. shows. So here's one quote. We were on a backyard makeover show. It was done super cheap and fast. They decorated it super nice for the reveal, and then they took away all the decorations, which actually made it look good. They did? Oh, really? They took the stuff back? Two weeks after the show, our backyard was very soggy and smelled like poop. It turns out... They dug up our sewer line when they put in a pond and sewage was going everywhere. Oh, God. Oh, goody. I always wonder how those things turn out in real Man. life if yeah. they're as nice as they appear on TV or if there's a bad yeah. story there, you know. Friends were on a show a few years ago. It was a super intense three weeks of filming, and the redesign looked great on camera. In reality, it was literally things stuck together with staples and tape. After the show, my friend took two weeks off work to rebuild everything properly. Hmm. Here's an extreme makeover home edition. Oh, boy. Those were always crazy because they flipped their whole house in one week. Is that yeah. the one Tyler or Ty Pennington? Ty Pennington. Fritch and I went down to one that they were doing in Kentucky and just watching the the, the feverish pace that they work at. It was You're like, unreal. How can the work be quality at this rate? <laughs> who's double checking this? Really? Yeah. yeah. Who's got the permit for the porch? Yep. Well, according to this one, it was completed in a week and the home has any number of problems. The owner went back to Extreme Makeover to fix everything and was told, you got this for free. Fix it yourself. Oh. Wow. I remember hearing that about that show because I remember them saying like mold would pop up or something would happen and they were like, hey, you signed the papers. It's on you now. I interned for Extreme Makeover Home Edition in the early 2000s. Yes, their taxes go through the roof. Tons of the families on it end up selling everything that was put in the house, computers, appliances, etc. to help pay the property taxes. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You know, they get this super nice house and all of a sudden the property taxes are jacked up and like, some oh. of these families can't afford them. I plumbed a house that was getting an HGTV remodel model. Long story short, they cut more corners than the contractors already want to. And that's saying a lot. I would never buy a house remodeled on one of those shows. That's good to know. And I'm a painter and know two different couples who were on Love It or List It. Painted rooms looked good enough for camera, but crap in person. Had to repaint all renovated areas. Oh, I was no. just watching Love It or List It yesterday. I love that show. <laughs> yeah, that's a good show. Tim, remember your friends that were on that um, mm-hmm. that makeover show? My mother was so excited that they won. Yeah, they did win from Pleasant Ridge. And you know what? I will say that they're the people that their quality is more than average, which is why they went and asked for 80 grand more yeah, over budget every that's time. That's what my mom said. My mom was like, they kept asking for more money. I really didn't think they were going to win. Same. I thought the same yeah. thing. So but they funny. did. So super congrats yeah. to them. Yeah. All right, that is your latest D News. We'll have more for you coming up after 7 o'clock. In the meantime, straight ahead, we got three headlines for you. Two of those headlines are fake. One headline is real. Jeff it, and Jen prize pack. You can guess the real headline. <laughs> You're going to win a Jeff and Jen prize pack. <laughs> There's no prize in there. <laughs> so we'll do that next. Brown Jeff bag. and Jen, Cincinnati's Q102. <laughs> well, you want to play trivia. Uh, Jeff will give you five bucks. <laughs> all right. We'll do that next. First, let's check the roads. We got Denise here with your latest Q102 traffic. Josh. Hey. Welcome hey. to Jeff and Jen's Faker for Real. How are you this morning? Uh, I'm great now. Good. Well, it's good to hear from you. Well, I've been trying to get a hold of you through this for a while now. Oh, man. Well, you, you got us on a great day. Yep, yep. So true. Jeff and Jen Price Pack is on the line here, my friend. So, I know. I heard that, and I was like, I got a call. Yeah, you got to you gotta get in on this action. <laughs> You're rolling the dice on this prize. <laughs> <laughs> Extra gas money. <laughs> That's right. So here we go. Which one of these is the real one? Is it A? Woman at Wendy's kicks manager in the shins after getting served cold fries. Is it B, man flips out at Denny's when server says they're sold out of moon over my hammy? Or C, a long John Silver's customer got violent over hush puppies? Hmm. I'm going to go with B. No, darn it. It's not Denny's. It's long John Silver's. Ah, oh, the hush puppies. I should have known. Yep, yep, yep. I should have known. Always yep. go with hush puppies. Always, always. Well, the good news is you didn't lose anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But hang on, yeah. Josh. Yeah, hang on. We're gonna we're gonna set you up with something anyway. Oh, okay. I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you guys too. <laughs> All right, you got. Hey, how'd you like a, a Snoop cutout? You want like a life size Snoop cutout? <laughs> it's yours if you want it. 
Well, I don't know if we can give that I away. Know, it's yeah. technically not ours. Oh. Well, it's Natalie's. Maybe we could ask her if you can have it. It's a Raising Cane's Snoop Dogg uh, cardboard <laughs> cutout. There you go. Uh, yeah. If not, you it'll end up in the garbage, whichever. But here's the story. A 20-year-old employee was working the drive through at a Long John Silver's in southern Indiana on Sunday, and a woman in her 30s or 40s pulled in and tried to order... Try to uh, order a single hush puppy. Hold on. Why is she bleeding through? That's weird. That is weird. Still? You're, uh, <laughs> I'm off. Okay. Yeah, that was weird. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. So just one hush puppy? You just go in and say it would like one single ball? Yeah, and if you're not familiar, hush puppies are just deep fried balls of cornmeal. And Long John Silver's does sell them. They just don't sell them individually. The smallest order you can get is two for a buck ninety five. And for some reason, this woman ordering thought that that was outrageous. Mm-hmm. She demanded they sell her just one and then yelled a racial slur. Then another woman in her car started calling the restaurant over and over, asking to speak to a manager. When that didn't work, the passenger got out walked inside the restaurant, started trashing the place, attacked the drive through worker, kicked the drive through worker in the stomach, which is a huge deal because she happens to be pregnant. Oh, my oh gosh. No. Wow. Yeah, luckily it sounds like she's okay. It's not clear if the woman who kicked her knew she was pregnant. Uh, cops are still trying to track her down. If you're Not going through the nice. drive through of any restaurant that has items for $2, please set your expectations. <laughs> That's a very good point. Also, does long, tip. also, does Long John Silver's have the Krispies still? Remember, you yes. can just get a side of the Crispins. Oh. I don't know what they called yeah. them. That was the best. They're, yes. I think they're called Crunchies or crunchies, something like that. Crunchies, yes. Yeah. Crunchies. Oh, that was amazing. I just need some fried dough, please. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> You would put ketchup on top and just get crazy. There used to be one right around the corner here on Ridge. Is it yeah, still there? I don't think on so. On the opposite corner of John Nolan? I don't, I don't <laughs> think so. And the one over uh, in Blue Ash is now a funeral home or oh, something. Oh, man. Yeah. That's I a hope funny it doesn't have a long home. John Silver say. smell there. <laughs> Do they uh, even have? I don't Now that you mentioned that, I don't think I've seen one in a really long time. They're still around somewhere. Tylersville. There's still one, I think, oh. off of 75 okay. there on Tylersville. It's a little before 7 o'clock. Jeff and Jen, Cincinnati's Q102 coming up. We got a classic second date update you might have missed the first time around, but it's new to you. Thanks for listening to the Q102 Jeff and Jen Morning Show Podcast, brought to you by CVG Airport. Fly healthy through CVG. For more information, go to CVG Airport backslash fly healthy.